Welcome back y'all. My name is T and today we're going to work on trimming the rim and foot of our grip cup from last week. Like I mentioned before, because of the current pandemic, we are reopening with new rules and practices in place. This means we will be able to provide bats, water buckets, and wheels, all of which will be cleaned by staff between classes. However, you will be responsible for bringing your own tools. For this project, you will need three ribbon or loop tools. I use a pear-shaped one, a round loop, and a triangle-shaped loop and three or four extra pieces of clay, as well as a towel or a rag. All right, let's get started. First thing you wanna do is try to center your cup on the wheel as best you can. This is a little tricky because of the wonky shape we've got going on here, but just get as close as you can. Once that's done, take your extra clay and roll them into little worm shapes. These will help to keep your cup in place as you work. Put them around the base and then hold the top of the cup to keep it still. Press your thumb into the bat when you push the clay down, not into your cup. Wiggle the top to make sure your base is solid and adjust as needed. Okay, so because of how we molded our cup, the rim ends up a little wobbly. We're going to use our triangle shaped loop tool to level it out. I like to start slow here since I'm trying to get these curves down flat. You can also just stop the wheel entirely to get any stubborn dips or bumps leveled out. Now we'll trim the foot. Peel those worms off and center your cup again, this time top side down. Put your worms down again and press them down. If your rim isn't totally leveled flat and you still have a lot of wiggling, put your hand on top and press down so it's flush with the bat and then wherever it's not touching the bat, try to squish your extra clay in to fill that gap by pressing in at an angle. Then press your worms down to make sure your base is stuck to the bat. Give it another wiggle to test and adjust as needed. Okay, now I'm going to use the pear-shaped loop tool to get rid of this distracting excess clay on the sides. This gives the bottom a nice clean edge so that your eye is drawn to the details of the hand shape. Your hand might bounce a little like mine is right now, just use two hands and go slow, and you'll be able to keep a smooth, round, consistent shape. Now I'm moving on to the foot. I use the pear shape tool to get a nice flat base to start with. Then I use the round loop tool to start carving the foot. I start where I want the edge to be and move slowly inwards. Make sure to keep your hands steady. I'm not pressing in too hard at all here just enough to scrape off the top layer. Also, in real life, I'm going way slower than it looks in the video you're watching. That's just the movie magic. You can use your triangle shaped loop tool here to get a good defined edge for your foot. If you want to touch up a specific spot or just get a little more control here, you can stop the wheel and then start it again once you're happy to make sure it's all nice and even. Having a towel or rag handy is good to help wipe away clay scraps from your workspace. You can keep going until you're happy with the height of your foot. Just keep in mind how thick the floor of your cup is. And we're done! Go ahead and let your cup dry out completely so it can be bisque fired. Next week's video will focus on glazing our cup. See you then and thanks for watching!